Mr. Clausen coming to you from cyberspace with the magic of pre-recording. So just going to run through today how to use the um, motion detectors that we have to get learn how to use uh, position versus time graphs. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to click into Logger Pro. All right, and if you go up here, where I want you to go is File, Open. And what should open up is a file that wasn't the one. Uh, when you open it up, it'll look like this. You should be in a file called Experiments. And where I want you to go is Physics with Veneer. So it's midway down for me, so I'll go Physics with Veneer. Then the next place you want to go is if you go down to the bottom, there should be a folder called Physics with Veneer Old Edition, and that's the one we want to open up today. So if you open up that folder, um, it actually should be the second file in there, so it's 01B, Graph Matching. So go ahead, open that up. And as soon as you do that, Logger Pro should uh, give you a screen like this. Okay, now what do you, how do you end up using this to, um, for what we're going to do here today, is what we need to do, we'll just go ahead and get rid of that screen. All right, got to introduce you to the new equipment that we're going to be working with um, in class. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a LabQuest. We've used these before. Uh, you're going to need a USB cable. All right, so this is a USB cable. It's got a the big end and the little end. And then the new thing, piece of equipment for us today is this one right here, which is the motion detector. So we'll go ahead and unwrap that. All right, when you open the motion detector, it can look kind of like this. It flips open, there's a little lever in there. Make sure it's switched over to the person slash basketball side. Um, and then you can let it sit like so. Now to connect that, it's not too bad. Just take the white end and plug it in on the side here of the lab crust. And as soon as you do that, what should happen is you hear that clicking, all right? And what that means is how this sensor works is it sends out a little sound wave. It bounces off something, and then it goes back to the detector. And based on how far away it is, um, you can figure out what's going on. All right, now once you got that hooked up, then it's time for the USB cable. The USB cable gets plugged in on the top, so right there. Go ahead, don't push it in too hard. You should just click in. And then you just take the other big end of the USB, and I think you know where that goes. That's going to go into your laptop. Now, as soon as we hook that up here, what we should see is a little bit of a change. If I can figure out which way it goes in, there it goes. Um, we're going to get a little bit of a change here on the Logger Pro screen. And you'll see now that it shows that a device is connected, and you'll notice that the clicking is stopped, and it's exactly what we want. The other check you should do to make sure it's working right is the lab quest should have this little double arrow side there, and that just allows us to take the sensor, which is that weird plug, and transfer it into the computer. All right, now you got all these wires. And what you can do is I got to move the camera a little bit here. All right, I think this is the angle I'm going to try and get for us here. All right, so then what you can do is you can take your sensor. Let me just get this set just right. Okay. Now what you can do is you can take your sensor and you can bring it over here. All right, so you'll set it up on something. So what you were going to be is you're actually going to be the object. Now what I recommend you use is get a, uh, a board kind of like this one, all right, the dry erase board, and just hold it at the level of the sensor. So here's our sensor right here. And how it works is as soon as I hit play, so I click here, it starts clicking, and then I can move on the graph, and I'm going to try and match my motion. I didn't do a very good job there, and let's do something like that. So you can see, as I move closer or farther away, my shape is matched on the graph. So that's what we got going on. That's how the um, lab quests work. All right. So once you get a good graph, you may have to do it again. To redo it, all you do is you start, hit click again, and then the data starts going off from that. Uh, when you're done with that, all I want you to do is just open up a new logger profile. Say, don't don't worry about saving. Just open up a new one altogether, and it should um, realize that we still have the motion detector connected. And then what you can do is we've handed out this assignment here. So this is going to go into your notebook. I'm just going to get it set up like so. We can actually get rid of this velocity graph. We won't need that. All right, and so. What I want you to do is you're going to take this graph and you're going to try and recreate that graph over here. And once again, the way to do that is you would just have a blank graph. You or your partner would stand up. You would stand where it is and then you would hit play and then you would become the moving object and you would move towards or away from the graph however is needed. Okay. Now if you get those big spikes like I did there, it's not a real big deal. All that means is something for some reason, uh, maybe something swung in the front there. So what I think what happened was I moved the board out of the way. 
So that's how it is. The goal is to recreate these. And then the key thing is to make sure that you go ahead and put a written description describing what this motion would look like. Okay, so when I say that, I'm talking about move towards the sensor, moved away from the sensor. Uh, did you move at a constant speed? Did you move uh, where you sped up? Did you stop? Relative speed is like I moved fast or I moved slow. So just try to recreate what these situations would look like um, so that you can understand how that motion would look. All right, that's it. So if you have any questions, talk to me in class.